Uh, did you get more done today? Is everybody still healthy, wealthy, and playing? And then how are you, how are you finding out how to ramp up production, I guess, is the right word. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, Doug, just um, like I mentioned yesterday, I've, I've asked um, the guys to really self-monitor themselves, especially the veteran guys, and uh, ease into things here a little bit. I've tried to get to kind of the um, – majority of the action early in practice to avoid you know fatigue and get to the you know get to the main part i think they need to play right but um so we're, so we're fine we, we did you know mark um went you know for a good stretch of practice you know the main bits and then pulled him you know just like i suggested took himself out to to kind of ease into it um i think og did later on in the practice as well. Just again, I, uh, I'm, I'm really leaving it to them. You know, they know their body's best and how they're feeling. Uh, the intensity was super high, I thought for, especially this early in the morning. And um, it, was a good, it was a good one. It was a good, good effort. Um, and again, just getting a lot of things in and uh, pretty happy, you know, just, just looking at some of our foundational stuff. I see it already. Uh, appearing so it's it's a good good start for two days i would say I know sort of my, my follow-up question you look at the schedule and you seem to be all over the map one to four one day nine to noon next day ten to one the next day how difficult is it to get any structure to your days with with coaching with, with the times being so variable understandably day to day um i you know i don't think uh doug you can't you can't expect there to be all the structure you may you may want right you got to kind of just accept that I mean I think all of us for four months have lost the rhythm of our of our lives right the, the way we probably want them to, to set up so you just kind of you know got to be you know again open-minded adaptable um, and just kind of take it I mean a three-hour block of time is, is a pretty pretty long time that we can usually you know get our stretching and corrective some pre-practice work done you know, start somewhere, you know, in the middle of that three block time to get their main work done. And then you kind of taper out of it with some more shooting and, and work. And, I, and I'm back, you know, you've seen us before. We're, we're some of the younger guys, et cetera, kind of putting in the, the second session again, just to, you know, get them those reps that they need on the defensive end and, and all that stuff. So, you know, we're trying to manage it a little bit individually, but also get a good chunk of group work done as well. Great, thanks. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Next, we're going to go to Tim Bontemps from ESPN. Hey, Nick, I see you out of hats. Um, you mentioned uh, you mentioned Mark practiced some. Uh, he was going to talk to us today, and then he is not. And I was told you were going to explain what's going on. So I was curious if you could explain what's going on. Well, he, he did practice, um, like I said, the good, good portion of the first bit. Um, Took himself out. We actually got started pretty early today, um, and he just—he just—they just decided to get him get him a early ride back instead of sit around for the next whatever. It's one of the things getting back and forth, you got to kind of hang out a little bit. And since he was since he was done already, they just gave him a gave him a quick ride back. Is all Tim. Well, that's a much better answer that the Raptors could, PR could have just said instead of making it seem ominous. I'll give Rovin a hard time for that. Uh, along those along those lines. Uh, other teams, you know, I know the Celtics have said they're going to kind of ease Kemba in um, and, and kind of slowly build him up. Obviously, Mark has dealt with hamstring injuries, injuries a lot of the year. Is is it going to be kind of a similar thing with him where you guys kind of slowly make sure that he kind of ramps up on a, a kind of a steady trajectory over the next few weeks to get ready for the playoffs and not risk trying to rush him back too quick? Yeah, and I, I, mean, I think, Tim, uh, yes is the answer to your question. I think there'll be – you know, for, for some of these guys, I, I mean, I think fatigue usually factors into these things. And, and um, it's a little similar kind of sometimes when you're with the national teams. You know, you, you go hard for a few days and then you might you might just pull guys out and start kind of sprinkling in some days off a, around the board. And Mark's certainly a candidate for that. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, I would even put Pascal, OG, Freddie, you know, uh, Kyle in that group too. Um, serves, you know, that, that will probably, you know, again, monitored individually, but, but almost, 
almost mandate some days off in, in, in there again, just to let them, their bodies kind of regroup, you know, for a, for a full day and, and recharge and then come back as we, as we go here early. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. Going to go next to Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Hey, Nick. How are you? I'm fantastic, Michael. How are you? Better and better every day, my friend. Um, as, as Timmy pointed out, Mark is coming off a very long season, both internationally and with you guys last year, and had hamstring injuries this year. We've all seen the Instagrams and the ripples and all the good stuff. Is he 100%? Like, is his hamstring, uh, like, perfect? Like, has he put behind any of those issues that were plaguing him through the year? Uh, I mean, as far as I'm aware, Michael, yeah, he's he's fully healed. And, and as you know, he looks great. Um, his skill, skills look fantastic as well. Uh, looks like he's in good shape. Uh, I, don't, I don't see any issues. Since he's been a Raptor, I mean, he's brought so much in so many areas. But the one thing we haven't seen very often is, is that, that offensive punch, uh, you know, that he was had with the Grizzlies right up till he was traded. Is, there, is that something you still want to draw out of him? Yeah, I mean, I think so. It's, it seems to, um, I, I mean, obviously fits in really well with us, right, Michael? I mean, he's a, he's a huge piece of, of what we do. Um, and, uh, you know, we've talked about this kind of ever since we got him is, is there's, there's, there's some more we can probably go to the well with, with him. Right. It just kind of seems like it, it hasn't become all that a necessity. Right. I think, I think I'd like to probably make him a main, you know, uh, cog in the offense, but the way things go have been going since he's been here, it's, it's, and, and even this year, it seems to be, you know, there's a lot of guys that can chip in on this thing. So, um, yeah, I'd, li I'd like to probably, I think, I think there's probably some baskets in him in the fourth quarter or down the stretch we could probably find and, and play a little bit inside out through him as well. Because, you know, like I always say, anytime we can get him the ball, good things happen. Not necessarily buckets from him, but good things happen. But it'd probably be good to see if we get his usage rate up. Again, uh, I'm working on it. I'm not. I'm not sure it's going to happen, but it is a it is a thought a thought in the in the forefront of what we're doing. And have you asked him about his uh, like his fitness and, and what motivated? I mean, obviously he was in pretty good shape. You know, he he is very professional that way. But but why? Uh, what his purpose was in, in what he's done at teams since he since he's been off. Well, I didn't. I didn't ask him what his purpose was. I, I would imagine his per, just guessing his purpose is, is you know he's trying to you know get in shape, play at his highest level, and continue to, to get better as a player. Um, I did ask him about like what was the key, <laughs> you know what what what'd you what did you do? And he just said, man, it was it was consistency. You know, it was just it was just uh, again with the situation we've all been in in the last four months. You know, you take out all the games and you take out all the long road trips and the late night flights and you know, all the things that factor in, you know, making um, fitness and nutrition a little harder and take all those out. And he just said it was a consistent, you know, rhythm, eating at the same time every day and, and eating, eating very healthy, obviously, and, and all that stuff. So that's all we discussed, though, just that. <laughs> so we're all... Uh... So we have no excuses then. Okay. <laughs> we we haven't had any for for the last few months. That's for sure. Thanks, Nick. You're welcome. And last question is going to Mike Ganter from the Toronto Sun. Hey, Nick. How you doing? Hi, Mike. I'm great. Good. Um, just curious. You've been out of quarantine for about 24 hours or whatnot now. What have you had a chance to look around the campus? And what are your impressions? And on top of that, what are your impressions of the of the food so far? <laughs> Because it's been a big topic of discussion on Twitter. <laughs> well, um, let's see here. I have not been out to look around. I did. I did. Um, 
I did take the outside path down to the to the meal room last night, but that was just right along the same hallway. That was as far as I ventured ventured outside. I'm I'm not planning on doing much looking around, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm I'm good with with working and and getting back to the room, to be honest with you. And the food has been a great help for me. Trying to cut a few, and it's been uh, right up right, right fit, fitting right in with that plan. So all good, all good. All right, appreciate that, Nick. Thanks. You're welcome.